grade five, module six, lesson 13 homework. Number one, use your right angle template and straight edge to draw at least three sets of parallel lines in the space below. So I don't have a right angle template, but what I do have is a ruler. So I'm just going to put my ruler down and I'm going to draw lines on either side of my ruler. And then to make sure it's parallel, I'm just going to go on the other side of my ruler, draw another line. So those two are parallel. And then I'm just going to line up my ruler again on one of the lines and draw another line. So that line should also be parallel. So there's three parallel lines without using a right angle template if that's not something you have. Number two, circle the segments are that are parallel. So remember, parallel means that they're never going to intersect. So looks like the first one, these two lines are parallel. They could go on and on forever and never intersect. See, these lines look like they will eventually intersect, right? Somewhere around there, so they're not parallel. Let's see, these two lines are parallel. They won't intersect. Um, the next ones are a little tricky, so I'm going to extend them so we can get a better idea. Make sure I get right on the line. So there's that line. I'm going to extend this one now. I think these are parallel. Yeah. They keep going. They don't look like they're going to intersect. And next two, those are parallel. These are not. See how they would eventually intersect somewhere down here. And then these two are parallel. Number three, use your straight edge to draw a segment parallel to each segment through the given point. So let's start with A. So there's a line, and I'm going to use this, uh, point S and draw a line through point S, make it parallel. So there's one. Let's do the next one. So B, we need to draw a point, a line through point T to make it parallel. There, there's one. C. So this is where it's a little bit harder because don't have um, a line to go off of. So I'm just gonna, oops. Do my best. Okay, let's do D. And E through point W. And the last one is F through point Z. And number four, draw two different lines parallel to line B. I'm just going to line my ruler up with line B and move it down just a bit. So there's one. Then I'll draw one more. And there is lesson 13.